Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to fill out the notification of works with Capasso? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro! What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I give my fellow South African musicians information on how to improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos that I do plan on releasing in the near future. In this episode, I'll be explaining how to fill out the notification of works with Capasso. What exactly is a notification of works? Basically, Capasso needs to be told what music you've made and what music they need to be administering for you to collect your mechanical royalties. If you're not too sure what Capasso is, have a look at this video up here. I will be sharing a link or the link in the description below. I'll be heading to my computer to show you exactly how to fill out the notification of works now. So first of all, we're going to head over to the Capasso website to find exactly where to fill out the notification of works. So I'm going to Google it out, uh, Capasso. And then I'm gonna click on where it says notification of works, but let's just go to the mother website so it's to find whenever you're on the website. Capasso.co.za. Once it's loaded up, this is the Capasso website. On the top left where it says notification of works form, that's what I want you to click on next. So currently you cannot send the notification of works to Capasso via their website, so you have to download the form. There's two ways of filling it out once you've downloaded it. Downloaded it, sorry. It's either you download it, print it out and then fill it out by hand, or you can download it, complete it online, I mean on your PC, and then send it via email, which is how I do it. So click on where it says download and then should download. On the bottom left, you can see it says notification format example. So I'm gonna click on this Excel sheet. Oh yeah, you need to have Excel to open this sheet. If you don't have it, you can also have Open Office. I think that also is another spreadsheet opening format. Um, if you don't have either or, you're gonna to have to print it somehow. Okay. On the top left, enable editing because you will be editing it yourself. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top. So I'm gonna say my name is Skill Music. Hey, music. Sorry. Also, the name that you fill in in the notification of works is your ID name. So I'm just putting skill music SA. All right, let's actually just do it. Joe Soap. Confusing one. It has to be your ID name and the name that you registered yourself with Capasso. So if you put in your first name, second name, and your surname, put that at the top. So your ID slash registration number. Preferably use your ID because your ID will always be the same. So I'm just going to use a generic number 91043355. Um, okay. And then you'll notice something happens. It changes the format automatically to this weird scientific format. This format does not help anyone. So I want you to right click on there, format cells. And then you see where it says the categories. I want you to click on number. And then when you see the number, this is the number that I wrote down. This should be your ID number. Just remove the decimals to zero. You don't want any decimals. Click OK. And then there's your number. I'm going to put it in the center because no, align it to the left hand side. And then your name, do the same, align it to the left hand side. Okay contact details you want this to be your number so in excel when you start a number with zero it automatically removes it so what i want you to do is i want you to put an apostrophe a comma a comma the air comma whatever that's called and then you can put your zero eight three five seven zero let me zoom in here because maybe this thing is tiny much better huh okay i want you to put in a comma, 083, not a comma, sorry. What's this thing called? Apostrophe. Yes. Apostrophe, and then 08357096022. Don't forget to put the apostrophe in the beginning, otherwise, the zero will disappear. Let me give you the example 08357096022. See, the zero has disappeared. So be certain to put the apostrophe in there and put zero. Okay. 
in your email address i want to put my email address info at skillmusicsa.com and then you can just make sure that you put this make it slightly bigger so that you can see it so i've made it 20 points that's how big it is so you can see it and then in the date you can put today's date so today's date is the 13th 13th of the 8th you can you can actually make this write it out so august 2019 say so now it's changed your format so you want to right click again format cells and then put this on date under category and you could change the date to something you prefer i prefer the number written word and then the year like that and then align it to the left hand side Okay. And then in your signature, since you're doing it online, you can put your first name, initial, so sorry, my name is Jay, and then you put in your surname, Jay Soap. Okay. It also says, now you filled in the basic contact information in the beginning of the form. This has to be 100% correct. If this is not correct, you're not getting anything. Okay. So now they're already giving you an example. I'm gonna start from left to right. I'm gonna give you an example of if I did the whole song myself, and then I'm gonna give you an example if I had another producer who did the beat, for example, okay? They've highlighted in yellow, so you can delete this line, and then change this color to a normal color like white, because you want it to be black. So the song that I will be registering, dummy registration is called Rebound can change the color of that let's make it black oh let me plug in my song rebound is a song that you can find on itunes and on um, apple music apple music and google play so if you are listening please head over to those platforms and let me know what you think <laughs> back to the tutorial huh so the title song is called rebound the composer you put in your first name sorry i forgot my name is no i'm gonna put in my this is your name usually you should be registering your music if you're an independent artist so let me carry on with your soap and the percentage so depending on how you agreed with whoever made the beat that's the allocation we'll be giving now since i made the song and i made the beat i'm going to put 100 percent publisher publishers if you have a publisher that is administering this song for you put that published name but in this case i don't so you put in a percentage of the publisher is zero in my case and then artist name so the difference between composers and artist name composer is your id name artist slash band this is your performance name that appears on platforms like itunes google play amazon etc so in my case i'll write skill music sa now this section catalog number catalog number basically when you're making music large amounts of music you basically want to wait to find the song easily because it's hard to find names as an independent artist we generally don't have this but it was advised when i called capacitor to have a catalog number for every song that you release so in my case i created up a generic um a generic catalog catalog number it must not be the isrc number it must be something similar so it's a unique number that you have assigned yourself in your music so i usually use smsa for skill music sa and then this is the number of i plan on i usually just add on a few zeros one two three and then i add a number uh so basically i'm limiting myself to a thousand songs in my lifetime which i think is very low so let me make it ten thousand okay and then i'm gonna put in number one so SMSA, that's just a unique identifier for me when I see it. Four zeros and my number, which is one. Once I get to 10, it'll be three zeros, 10. Once I get to 100, it'll be two zeros, 100. Okay, but the, for example, this is what I'm using for a catalog number. Okay, this is the first song. Now I'm gonna give you another example if you have now I'm gonna give you another example if you have a co-producer making a track with you. So in this song, I'm gonna call, there's a song I worked with with Silas Beats, what's it called? Uh, no Love. No Love, No Love. 
for the composer in the first line I'm going to write myself as Joe Soap again and then in the second line I'm going to write Adrian JJ whatever no no that is the surname uh, Adrian Soap as well okay so there's two composers in this track since he made the beat, he gets 50% in his contract that he signed up, he made me download, it's 50% that he gets. And then the other 50% is obviously mine. You're gonna have to find out if he's published or not, but in this case, I know that that beat is not published, so I'm gonna say NA, and I'm gonna write NA for both of us. Zero, zero for percentage. And then this is also important, the artist or band name. So in my case, in the first line, who's Joe Soap, it's my soft skill, music SA. And then in the second line, it's Silas Beats, catalog number. It's not a, like if you don't have the catalog number, it's not a train smash, but it is preferred if you have one. So in my case, I know I have catalog numbers, so let me just make it number two. I have a separate Excel sheet that keeps this information for the catalog number. So this is not exact one in my case for now but I'm just giving you an example of catalog number. And then Silas Beats, I don't think he has one, so I'm just gonna leave it as empty. But what's very important is the composer name, the percentage splits, and the artist band name. You have to have those three, and of course the title of the song. If you don't have that, nothing's gonna go forward. That's basically it. And then what I want you to do right at the end, you have to save as, so let me just, uh, you can see I've been doing this quite a bit. Uh, I was, I'm gonna just put it on my desktop. I'm just gonna name it No to Education of Works. And then you prefer we put your name and your initial, but I'm just gonna write J. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then you press Save on my desktop. Okay, once you've saved the Excel sheet, also export it as a PDF because you don't want anyone to be able to manipulate this file once they've received it so you export it as a PDF now you've saved your PDF and this is how it should look afterwards oh yeah you might want to change those colors from red hey let's make them all black sorry let's make them all black John Lomo 20 there we go, to as well. Okay, save it again, export it again. Export it again, as a PDF. Once you've exported as a PDF, you send an email, which I'll leave in the link below to Capasso, and you tell them this is the notification of works that you'll be sending, and then Bob's your uncle, you're done. Filling out the notification of works for Capasso is very simple, and I suggest that you do it as soon as you made a song, get the notification of works done, and then once you've finished, don't forget to send that email. I'll leave the email address that you must email to in the description below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to holler at me on WhatsApp, my number's also in the description below, and if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe, it helps me know what videos I must tailor to and helps me know that you guys are enjoying this information that I'm giving out. That concludes this episode and I hope you really enjoyed. And until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan Design.